I am wearing it the same because I filmed my last video, the um, the birthday Germany haul video at the same time, just because I had some time right now. But now I will move on to my used up stuff. I've been um, collecting lots of stuff and um, as it usually happens, first you just have like one or two things and suddenly it becomes a lot and the bag was hanging on the back of my bedroom door and every time I opened the door it hit my shoes and it was really annoying me now and it's actually quite a bit so um, I will start right away just to tell you, be able to tell you a little bit about the products. I will just start randomly just grab into the bag and see what I pull out and the first one is a vanilla bean noel antibacterial deep cleansing hand soap from Bath and Body Works this is basically from the same product line my shower gel was, the vanilla one, and from the last used up haul. I bought two of those soaps because I actually could have bought three, but I wanted not to just buy one, but I couldn't buy three because that was too heavy. So I bought this one and I have one which is called Candid Apple or something, or Sugar Apple or something, which is currently in the bathroom. Um, I would have liked one of the ones where you pump and then um, you get like a foamy soap out of it. So this one was a bit of a peeling soap. Um, was okay, just because I love Bath & Body Works, I would probably just purchase it again because it was the vanilla bean and I love the vanilla bean. But yeah, nothing too special. No. I will, I will do three things at once. So the another thing which went empty, unfortunately, is my Origins Make a Difference Plus Rejuvenating Treatment. And you can see that it is, it smells so nice, it's completely empty and I already purchased a backup. However, I, for 2013, my little goal is to get rid of some beauty items. I mean, it's one thing to have 10, 15, 20 blushes because yeah, you, you want a little bit of variety and a blush just takes very, very, very long time to empty. Except you overblush on a regular basis. But I um, I wanted to, to use up like lotions and some cleansers and body washes, body lotions, etc. before repurchasing. However, I had four lotions I wanted to use instead before repurchasing the Origins one. Which is an amazing lotion, gel based, works pretty much with every foundation I have. Uh, I really, really like it. Um, but I moved on to four more lotions. The first one was the Kiehl's Oil Free Lotion, which I ended up giving to my boyfriend because his lotion, his travel lotion, was empty and he likes the Kiehl's Oil Free Lotion, so he got that one. So I had three left. The next one I wanted to use up was the Garnier Moisture Match. For dull skin and I have talked about this in my London haul. However, first thing I don't like about this one is that it smells like Garnier but a lot like when applying you really can sm smell that there's a lot of alcohol in it. Now this one doesn't say on the back like the ingredients and I threw away the pack but I don't like that it's so alcoholic smelling. Second of all, ever since I started using it, I started breaking out, which you can still see a little bit in my face. I'm not 100% sure if it's this product, but it definitely, my pimples definitely became worse ever since I stopped using the Origins ones because it was empty and started using this one. And um, because I don't like it, and because I don't have anyone to give it to, like I, I hate throwing away beauty products, except if they have like gone bad or something but just because I don't like it doesn't mean someone else might like might might end up liking it but it just feels weird to just give a lotion a, a broken in lotion to to a friend and um, I would usually give this to my sister but I don't see her until like late summer so Having standing this around for five months doesn't seem like a good idea either and this was only four pounds so I'm shame on me end up throwing this away. Yeah, I, I was hoping you know you can find a, a cheap drugstore product but it didn't work for me. Two lotions left. 
The third one I wanted to use was the Seaweed Mattifying Day Cream from the Body Shop, looking like this. I bought this a year ago. It was Easter Saturday 2012 because we went to La Monde, which is an outlet shopping mall uh, right behind the German border but in the Netherlands. And um, I won't open this now. The problem is I bought this there, there and I bought it, I think I paid like 9 euros, which is an okay price. And I used it two or three times because I wanted to test it. And then I continued using the lotion I was using at that time. And then I forgot about this one, which again is shame on me. And now I wanted to use it. However, oof, yeah. It reeks and it kind of divided itself into a bit more liquid part and a bit more jelly part and I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that but I also saw that where did I see it? it was on here here you're supposed to use this up within 12 months after opening which like I said Easter Sunday 2012 uh, it's a Saturday 2012. It's a year ago. Considering that it smells funny and it divided itself up into two different kinds of lotions parts. Ugh. Um, and considering my skin at the moment, I'm not going to use this and will have to throw this away as well. Which left me with one more lotion which is the Clinique lotion from the Three Face cleansing system, Three Step cleansing system. It is okay, but I just prefer gel-based lotions and the, the, the Clinique one I still use like on the weekends or every once in a while, but I really just like the Origins ones, uh, Origins one, so I repurchased that one and I'm very, very happy with this. Then I finished the Balea um, shower lotion called Beautiful Berries. Um, for the price, I really like this. I bought this in January, considering that the last couple of months were so still cold. I felt that um, those darker, darker kind of berries fitted, and the scent is really natural. It smells really good. Um, however, I think it's a bit more of a fall winter scent. And they also came out with the new summer editions, which are very tropical. And um, if you watch my my um, birthday haul, Germany haul video, then you will see which ones I bought when I was back in Germany over Easter. And yeah, this was great. But um, and you should definitely, if you're in Germany, and you should definitely definitely give those body washes and stuff, body lotions, etc. from Balea a chance because for the price you can't do wrong but um, yeah, I moved on to other products as well. Now I have a lot of little things. One is one of the brushes for my Clarisonic. This is the first one I switched and it's one for sensitive skin which came with the Clarisonic. I had bought two backups in the States because you can buy them in like a double, like one of those is $25 I think, but if you buy two it's $40 for two. So I bought a double pack. I thought it was the one for sensitive skin I repurchased. I repurchased uh, the one for normal skin instead. I thought oh, maybe it's a bit too much for my skin, however the normal one is also just fine and um, yeah, so every three months you're supposed to switch. Then I got um, some makeup remover wipes from Sephora. Um, I like that I had the possibility of buying uh, some specific, like, specific um, makeup remover wipes because here in Denmark I only found the ones for, you know, those wet wipes for cleaning your butt. The ones, you know, you use for kids and stuff. And then I, they have the ones um, for cleaning your hands and stuff, but really for the face, I didn't find any travel size uh, packs. Those were 10 in there. They were a bit small, they were tiny. Like the ones I'm used to from Germany are like, even if it's a smaller pack, you have just have like the German ones would just have five in there, but normal size. They were fine, but 
yeah, for traveling it's okay, but otherwise for here at home I don't use them. Then I finished an eye lotion, though it was a trial size. And it's the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Deep Puff. I got this together with the face lotion and my eye lotion, which I bought. And the eye lotion, I have the... Change the day? No, what a wonderful day or something. And then I got this as a trial thingy because I thought, oh, that's a cute little pot. Let's try this one first. And at first I didn't like it and liked the other one more. However, now it's kind of switched around and I would have liked to have the full size of this one here. So as soon as I finished my other one, I have to see if I maybe, yeah, buy this again. So, uh, yeah. Then talking about Clinique, I finished uh, the liquid facial soap. When I got, last time I got the free face system from Clinique, Christopher bought it for me. I have like those huge sizes here at home, including, like I said, the face lotion um, and the toner and also the face wash. And with it came a pack of those free little ones. Um, so this is the little face, lo uh, face cleanser. Then I got um, a little tube of the face. Uh, soap, uh, lotion, sorry I'm getting confused here, and I have a little bottle of the toner. The toner bottle I will keep because I think I mentioned it before, I like to have the full size, like the, the mini size bottles of the full size products I have, so I can always refill. Then I finished a trial size of the Clinique Repair Laser Focus Wrinkle and UV Damage Corrector. It's a very nice serum, very, very nice. Um, it's not like it has too much effect on my skin. I just like how light it is, but still nourishing. But yeah, I had three or four of them. So that's that was, I think, the last one of the ones I finished. Then I finished um, a whitening toothpaste. It's um, one of those smaller ones. It's called Denivit. I think it's some Swedish producer, but I'm not sure, um, and it really didn't help me. Um, my friend recommended it to me, and it was really cheap, it was 25 kroners, so like 3 euro 50. So I tried this, but yeah, it's just toothpaste, but it was nice for traveling, so yeah. Two products left. One of them is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. I'm not the biggest primer fan. Um, because I always feel like they clog my pores and I haven't found like the perfect primer yet. I know everyone is raving about the Laura Mercier one. Um, this one is almost full still, but I have it since over a year. Over a year? About a year. The problem is... Oopsie. It started smelling weird. It really started smelling weird and there's a bit left in there, but I'm going to throw this away. Um, I like Laura Mercier, but I just love other products more. So yeah, and primer, I don't know. Last but not least, I finished the L'Occitan, L'Occitan, L'Occitan shower oil with almond, the almond shower oil. I heard lots of YouTubers rave about this and um, when I ordered some hand lotions, and a Valentine's present for my boyfriend. I saw that they have like a travel size of this, so this was nine euros, which is still expensive. I mean, if you consider the size. Um, but I have really dry skin, so I thought, hey, an oil, maybe it is a great product. Let's just tr give it a try. And I didn't like it at all. Um, it is not as nourishing as I thought it would be. Like thinking of an oil I just think like really nourishing lush and, uh, I don't know I just thought of more then I think you need a lot of product because it a doesn't foam not really at least and B it is oil it's like really really liquid so you only can use a tiny little bit in the palm of your hand and try to like distribute distribute it all over your body and then you need some more in order to not waste product and in the end I was just happy to be done with it and last but not least I also really don't like the scent it's 
it smells weird. I didn't like. So yeah. But um, if you like it, that's fine. I just don't. And um, that was it. I guess I can say thank you for watching. That was a memorable bird bag. And um, yeah, I hope you you like the video. I hope you like the products or didn't like them. If you have any recommendations or any comments, uh, drop them below. And yeah, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.